Hi, and thank you for joining me on my channel again, A Search for Passive Income. In today's video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different, something a little bit fun. In my day-to-day -day task as an affiliate marketer and somebody who's wanting to earn a full-time income from affiliate marketing and from my niche websites like fishkeepingforever.com is to search for articles and organic keywords that will rank well uh, and bring traffic through to my website. Now, just like you, this will involve searching competitors and searching the web for other websites to gain ideas and inspiration for articles. And over the last few days, we've come across some amazing websites. I mean, some websites have absolutely blown my mind with the amount of traffic and um, organic traffic and, and customers and revenue they're making. Now, I'm not talking about some of the well-known sites like the Wirecutter and, 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 and websites like that. I'm talking about some more unique and individual websites. And some of the niches people often say, you know, you're going to struggle in and you shouldn't go near. Uh, now, I have put a list together of some of these websites, which I thought you might find interesting. I mean, I, they certainly, I found them interesting. And for about an hour last night, I couldn't stop crawling these websites and finding out how they're doing it and how they've got their traffic. Now, what I found is some of the websites, there's one or two in this list that are big and are well-known and are backed by huge multi-million pound corporations. Um, but I still thought the interest, the data and the, the organic traffic they get is still mind-blowing and you might find it interesting. So I've left them in there. But there's one or two in there that you'll be, like, like me, shocked at the, the kind of niche, the kind of traffic they're getting from uh, this particular niche. So... I thought you might find it interesting, a little bit of fun, um, something to have a look at, something that might hopefully inspire you to, you know, keep going with your site and adding content. One key thing to remember, all websites start with one article. Um, there's no website that is built with hundreds and hundreds of articles and, and, and published and instantly goes to success. All these websites have slowly added content article by article. At some point, somebody started by pressing that publish button and launching that first article. So just like you, I mean, they started exactly in your position. So just bear that in mind throughout this video. If you're wondering, you know, I'll never get there. I'll never get a million a month traffic, etc. You can. There's absolutely no reason why any website cannot grow. If you constantly reinvest your money, if you earn £100 or $100 in February, reinvest $100 in two or three articles, in March, you might make $300, then invest $300 back into articles. At some point, yes, you'll be able to take a salary or you'll be able to take uh, some money out of the business without reinvesting it. And that's great. That's what we all want to do. But in the early stages, all websites, including the ones we're going to see, reinvested their money and reinvested their time back into their websites to make them grow. So just bear that in mind when you see it. I mean, you know, I found it an inspiration. I hope you do. So... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of the data and some of the revenue these sites are making. It's astounding. So here we are over at some of the uh, websites. Let's have a look at some of these. Uh, so dogtime.com. This is the first one that we came across researching um, some articles and some topics for one of our clients. Uh, it seemed pretty standard. Nothing too special. Um, dog site in the obviously a very popular niche, but often one that people say is absolutely saturated and you should stay away from. I mean, everybody you talk to who's got a niche website is either owns a dog website, cat or dog website, or uh, is thinking about building one. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I particularly think if you was going to do that, I would branch down into just a niche, maybe one type of breed of dog. But hey, I mean, you know, let's have a look at some of the numbers up from this site. So we're using Uber Suggest, which is a free tool that you can use as also as a paid option. Uh, please, I know you're all screaming out there going, the data's not accurate, the data's not accurate. It's not 100%, we know that, but it does give you a general idea of some of the numbers, particularly uh, Uber Suggest is very good for organic traffic. So some of the numbers that you're going to see here is simply organic. There's no paid traffic, there's no direct clicks, there's no Facebook social included in this or anything. So this is purely organic. Now, let's have a look at these. I mean, look at that for a number. Eight and a half million organic traffic a month to one dog website. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. An almost perfect 79 uh, domain score. So their authority within this niche is, is, is astronomical. Um, so it would be very difficult to rank against an article like this, although it is possible. Um, we do on um, some of our websites outrank some of the biggest ones like the Spruce Pets. Um, we rank highly above them on many, many articles, so don't be put off by this. Uh, but look at this for an inspirational number, 8.5 million organic traffic a month. 
Now, if you consider paid traffic, social shares, it has to be at least double that. So this website is probably in the region of 15 to 20 million organic searches a month. Uh, it's just astronomical, isn't it? If you look at the keywords, over a million keywords uh, and nearly half a million backlinks. And if you look at the follow backlinks, we're talking 400,000 follow, do follow backlinks. But you can see their traffic is still growing. I mean, only back in uh, February last year, you can see eight, uh, 3.8 million slowly rising to 8.5 million where they are now. So this website is still growing. And if we look at some of their top pages, you can see on here, um, all dog breeds, I mean, what a keyword to rank for, 1.6 estimated visitors each month from that one keyword alone. But remember what I just said right at the beginning, if you look at a niche like dogs, maybe narrowing down so if they've got French Bulldog, that gets 700,000 estimated organic searches a month. Now, if you think just on that one breed, so if you built a website just around the French Bulldog breed, um, with organic traffic and paid searches and social shares, you know, you have a website there that could um, rank at least a million to two million organic searches a month. And if you could be the main authority within that one dog breed, you could possibly outrank a site like this for that one particular dog breed. So just looking at Facebook and Pinterest, like we were saying, the, the number there, eight and a half million, is from organic traffic. Look at the Facebook shares and Pinterest shares they've got. So their social and their um, uh, social traffic and their direct clicks are, are going to be astronomical. It could even be more than 8 million. So this is a big, big, big website, but in a niche um, from a website and a niche, like I say, that most people say to avoid. Now, I don't know the history behind this site. It, it could be backed by the New York Times or something like that. It probably is. Um, so don't be screaming out in the comments. Um, you know, like I say, some of these websites are big sites. But even if it is, I still find these numbers absolutely amazing. You know, 8 million, 15 million. They are still numbers to be astounded by. So if we take a look at the next site, so aliveabout.com. Uh, this website may be, um, it's new to me. It may not be new to you, but I, I listed this because when I first came across this, I thought, looks like it's been made by a three-year-old. I mean, it's just absolutely basic. Um, Look at the, uh, the the type fonts and you know the way their um, images are done. It's just uh, it just screams. If you saw this site, if you or I built this site and we had it reviewed by somebody, they would probably say, you know, you need to do something about the graphics and the design of the website. It's terrible. But yeah, let's have a look at some of the numbers on this. Now, again, I know this is a big website and I know it does have a lot of backings, but. Uh, one thing I couldn't understand about this, so let's look at the traffic, 7 million from organic traffic alone. Domain authority of 71, domain score 71, nearly 4 million organic keywords. So yeah, it's a big player here, but what's this about? I mean, you know, either Uber suggests is not working or they've got zero backlinks. It's just, I pretty much think it's, uh, I think Uber suggests is not working on this one, but let's take a look at their um, top posts. So there's no huge one. This, this, this is what stood out to me on this. This website is all about organic traffic. Um, there's no million, million and a half search volumes a month on one particular. It's lots of 70, 80,000 uh, searches a month articles. And look at their social. Um, you know, their social isn't big. You know, they get, they're not doing anything. There's one article there. Um, best short haircuts for women um, is getting obviously some Pinterest and some Facebook shares but the rest of it isn't and look at the backlinks I mean you know that number may be right they've got hardly any backlinks um, I mean this article here brief history and styles you know it gets 56,000 organic searches a month it's got one backlink I mean that just screams vulnerability to me but they're doing something right. I, I don't know what it is they, they're doing right. Maybe number of content. They could have tens of thousands of articles on there. But whatever they're doing, they're doing right. 7 million plus paid and direct clicks. You can say this website's doing around 15 million organic searches a month. So let's have a look at the next site. This website uh, just blew my mind. Uh, I mean, we talk about niche websites and narrowing down on, on a niche website. Um, and people think, how niche can you get? 
This website is entitled Sleeping in Airports. I mean, what? Um, is there even any traffic for this? Is there even, you know, a, a niche for this? I had no idea um, about this. All about, you know, sleeping in, in airports, cots in airports, sleeping tips when you're in an airport. It's just amazing me. So this I found really inspirational. I mean, for all of us who think, ooh, my niche is a bit too narrow, uh, look at this for a narrowed down niche. And let's have a look at some of the traffic. I mean, what are you suggesting? What are you thinking? Come on, give me your estimations. Well, let's have a look. 324,000 organic searches alone from sleeping in an airport. It's just insane. Uh, 300,000 organic keywords. So if you're thinking sleeping in an airport, there can't be that much um, keywords and traffic to go after on that. Well, there clearly is. Uh, plus, if you think about their paid searches and all their Facebook shares, and this is going to have some articles that really share well and could go viral. So I estimate this is doing at least half a million um, traffic a month. Uh, the domain score uh, within this authority niche is 70. And again, look, there's zero backlinks. So let's go over to the pages and see if that's correct. Well, you know, they, they do have some backlinks, particularly this one. You know, look at this. And look at where it's coming from. 44,000 Facebook shares. Wow. You know, I did say this is viral uh, content and uh, articles that will do well on social sharing. And that's exactly proved my point. And 500 on Pinterest. But look at the rest of it. If Magic's going to get the same on some of the other content, um, this website could be absolutely amazing. But with, with half a million visits to their websites per month, which from a niche like sleeping in an airport is just incredible. Uh, that was one of my biggest um, surprises out of all these websites is, is such a small niche. Um, so let's have a look at another one. So medium.com. Yep, I know, it's a massive website, and why am I putting it in this list? I didn't know about it. I did not have a clue. The reason it came about is that it popped up in one of my searches, so um, I'm actually competing for one of these keywords, and um, that's where I noticed the uh, this website is. So it's a general website, has some news, it has some... Um, it, it does have some actually quite some interesting content on there. It's, it doesn't seem to focus just on news. Uh, it focuses on uh, search results and questions. A lot of general Google searches uh, will be answered by this website, which is the kind of traffic, obviously, organically you want to go for. It ranks for quite a, a lot of interesting articles, but um, a lot of it is news related, um, which is obviously backed by this uh, company, which I do know is backed by a, a, a huge organization. Um, and they invest millions into it and have a team of hundreds of writers. So I'm not expecting any of us to ever have a website like this. But the reason why to feature this one is just simply the numbers. Um, I mean, I always wonder how much traffic you can get to a website. Now, this number, bear in mind, is simply organic. So we're starting off with 20, almost 29 million organic searches a month. Wow. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, then when you think this site is all about the social shares, it's all about the latest news feeds popping up in your inbox, popping up on your Facebook feed. So I can imagine their direct clicks and their direct searches are going to be even bigger. So this website is probably in the region of around 50 million searches, uh, visitors a month, which is just absolutely astounding. Uh, if you look at their organic keywords, they're ranking for 27 million keywords. Look at their backlinks. I mean, this is the most impressive part. 230 million backlinks. I mean, just it is just astounding. I mean, let's have a look at one of their um, pages. So, um, like I say, this is fast paced. Um, so, latest news. So, if it's the latest news, so 1.2 million on this one. Um, but there's just all sorts on here. It's a range. Um, of articles and posts and uh, as you can see I mean the backlinks per article is not huge so that tells me they have a huge amount of content uh, if you look at their Facebook and Pinterest shares yeah they've got plenty of Facebook shares um, but very little on Pinterest which actually shocked me because I thought maybe with it being news Pinterest isn't really a news um, site um, but some of their articles like you know top 10 um, 
designer handbags and stuff which they do write about you know could be a great pinterest share so um yeah some amazing um data and some amazing numbers coming out of these sites like i said i know this one is backed by a huge corporation so like i say don't be don't be put off and think oh, i'll never get to that one it's pointless well you know yeah but if you can get a small percentage of this you're still going to do really well so even in the entertainment and news sector um you can still do well there's maybe just a different formula or a different way you go about it uh, but yeah some amazing sites here uh, i certainly found them absolutely truly inspirational Wow. I mean, that's all I can say to some of these websites. Uh, I hope you're inspired by it. Please don't be put off by it. Just remember all these websites started exactly like yours. Somebody published the website and somebody press publish on that first piece of content. From there on end, their websites have grown and they'll have all seen steady organic traffic uh, over time, over several years possibly. So just remember to keep reinvesting your income reinvest in content, keep getting it out there, keep publishing it. And uh, one day, maybe you and me could have a website exactly like them, earning millions each month. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a bit of fun. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. Uh, I try and get to answering all your comments daily. So uh, please leave a comment. If there's any websites you know of that we should take a look at, I'd be happy to do so. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.